Hi and welcome to the session on getting started with the AWS Cloud. So on this webpage, I've gone to aws.amazon.com forward slash education forward slash AWS educate. So here you can actually get started using the AWS Educate platform. So in order to get started, you would need to click on this button, join AWS Educate. Now, if you're a student of mine, what I would recommend is that you fill in this online form. Now, as you will not have an educational email address, what I recommend is that you then come back, your, your application may get refused. So what I would advise you then to do is to contact AWS Educate. They may require some details like the particular program you're studying, the lecturer's name, for example, me. But then once you apply to this, you should be granted an Educate um, account. So you might be saying, well, how can I get started learning about the cloud with this AWS Educate. Well, once you've logged in, you'll get access to a whole um, different set of benefits. In particular, you'll get to access what are called the cloud career pathways. And essentially, as I scroll down here, you can see a number of the various different um, pathways that you can choose from. So if you're interested in cybersecurity, if you're interested in data science, there's a whole raft of various different pathways that you could follow in order to basically you know, learn about your chosen pathway. So quite a number of different um, basically focus roles there available. In addition to that, you can also do short courses known as badges. So for example, you could learn about, um, for example, AWS Deep Racer. If you're interested in learning more about Alexa, you could earn a badge in these particular areas. So again, if you had a particular um, want to learn some of these, um, again, there's some short courses available here within Educate. In addition to this, and probably my favorite part of the Educate platform, is you can actually come across here and click on AWS account. And what this does is it basically gives you access. So when you are signing up to the AWS Educate platform, my advice is to start up for what's called a starter account. So when you get to set up your account, you'll get an option to, to you'll get options for which account you want to set up. My best advice is to choose the starter account. The reason being is it reduces your risk of being charged while learning, because again, what you'll get is you'll get a number of free credits okay, given to you by AWS Educate. And it's an excellent way to learn the cloud, knowing that there's no risk to you and you don't need to supply your own credit card. There's no risk of you um, creating a big bill. Now, again, it does get you into the habit of basically becoming aware of how the cloud works. And again, if you leave tur things turned on, this $30 or this um, free credit that you're given initially will run down very quickly. So what I always say to, to students getting started in the cloud, it's very like, you know, when you're finished doing a project or you've done a task, turn off the various features that you've turned on. Okay, so it's very like your electricity in your house. If you go out, turn off your lights. Um, just to give you an idea of what that looks like, when you do click on your AWS Educate account, you'll be brought to this screen. So for example, you can see here, there's a number of, there is some, uh, there, is, there is a frequently asked question section here. So you can see what type of services are supported within the AWS Educate account. But, and you can see, as, as you can see here, you can see that I've got $49.08 remaining. And you'll also notice here, there's an AWS console. So this actually allows me to fire up basically uh, AWS console so that I can start bringing up services. But again, just to, just to know that when you are finished with services, ensure you do turn them off to um, make the most out of your available credits. Okay, so in the next number of videos, what I'm gonna be doing, guys, is I'm gonna be showing, you know, how you can get started with using the account, and I'll have a few exercises in the upcoming videos. Okay. Thanks for watching and see you soon, guys. Bye for now.